everybody. Welcome to whatafeelingsection.com. I'm 10 years old and my name is Angel Kelly. And this is Mariah De Kelly, who is 7 years old. I'm going to teach you how to debate and patient. But before she comes, don't forget to like and subscribe this video. See you soon. Today, we are going to learn about how to debate efficiently. So, we have eight people in the debating hall. We have the chairperson who gives you the topics for the debating, and we also have the moderator who gives you the rules. We have the judges who judge who brought the most intelligent ideas. And we have your opponent who will fight back against you and clear all your evidence. We also have your audience who are the most special people in the hall. They listen to you and cheer you on as you make your case. You can also use similes or metaphors in your argumentative case. So there are two types of debates. We have written and oral. If it is written, it, uh, it is an argumentative essay. You will write whether you are for or against the topic and there will be arguments on both sides. If it is oral, you are, you are fighting with a real life person. This time you are not writing. You are fighting. So, to prepare for a debate, you need to use cue cards instead of a sheet of paper because you don't have to be bringing up a lot of ideas to confuse your audience. No. You also have to get only three points for your audience. Next up, you need to have eye-to-eye -eye contact with your audience to know whether they are sleepy, bored, or confused. Moving your hands will make you have a clear and like you know what you are saying and you know how to move your hands and all that. Now, to debate and win a debate, you need to speak clearly. And make sure you don't come up with a lot of points. You need to write only three. I'm now going to talk about the affirmative and negative speaker. In a debate, there are only three rounds. Every new speaker will speak in all those three rounds. The affirmative speaker usually provides the chair person, but can also provide the time key. Then, the negative speaker will provide a timekeeper, most often. The third speaker in an affirmative team will say he or her points, then bring up intelligent ideas, then after that, the, the affirmative speaker makes a conclusion. The second speaker in an affirmative team will speak up for he or her stance as far as the affirmative the, the he or she's stance will be affirmative. Then the affirmative speaker makes a summary of what the first speaker said. Then makes a conclusion. The same is for the third speaker. For the negative speaker, the negative speaker, the first negative speaker does the same of the first affirmative speaker. But the second negative speaker does the same, but this time adds no um, adds no no more information or intelligent points. And the third speaker does the same as the second. So 
To introduce yourself, you need to include all of them. All the eight people in the debate. They can be they can be seven because the judges can be two. They don't they are not that relevant to so all the time be three. They can also be five. Okay. So there are also timekeepers. They make sure you keep your time. And the timekeeper rings a warning bell. You have only 30, 30 seconds to, to talk your case. So if the bell rings and and you are still talking and waste another 30 seconds, you may be penalized. So to introduce yourself, you need to include everybody, including your opponents. You have to give them a warm welcome and when you are done, you state your stance. A stance is whether you are for or against the topic. So, to introduce yourself, you can say, My chairman, moderator, well-seated judges, my opponent, the timekeeper, and um, my ever-listening audience. I welcome you to this special occasion. That is all for today. We'll continue another time. So get ready for our fun fact. Did you know that another word for judges is adjudicator? So that is the fun fact for today. I want you to type another word for judge in the comment section. And also, tell me what you have learned today by yourself apart from this video.